Yes, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome up to the stage the coach of the Fremantle Dockers AFLW side, Trent Cooper, and alongside him, our captain, Cara Antonio. Great to have you both here. Some wonderful highlights there. Trent, we'll start with you. Uh, second on the ladder, a percentage of 285. Things are ticking along as well as could be hoped from the outside. Yeah, no, going along well so far. We've had a, a good start to the year. One minor hiccup against Brisbane, but they're a very good side. And, yeah, there's not much between the top six this year, so you have to be on every week. Only three games to go in the home and away season. You've got some tough opponents to come, so I'm sure that's at the back of your mind. Yeah, definitely the three other sides who are still live when the season got caught off last year. So that's a good challenge for us, especially two of the games in Melbourne, but the girls love getting away together, so we're looking forward to those challenges and playing those Victorian sides, and destiny's in our hands. If we win all three, we'll finish in the top two, and that's our aim. Now, I know as a, as a parent or a coach, you don't have a favourite child or player, but I'm going to point one out here. Uh, Kiara Bowers, just from the outside. I, I would not like to pinch the last chocolate in the fridge if it's hers. Uh, she is a tackling machine. She must be a delight to, to coach and also to run out alongside for Kara. Yeah, it's so easy to coach Kara. She always wants to improve. She's added another element to her game this year. But the best thing that she does is she sets a standard and... The 18, 19 year old girls that come into our program see the way she goes about it and the way she defends. All coaches love to preach defence, but uh, when you've got someone like Kiara living it, it makes it easy. And the legacy of the how the Frio AFLW team plays will live on a long time after she's retired. Kara, I sense watching the game on Sunday that your players got a bit of joy out of handing out a 67 point defeat to the old Cross Thailand rivals. Uh, it's always nice to beat the Eagles, no matter how, how much it is. Um, look, there's obviously a bit of history there with a number of uh, the current Eagles players um, being on our list a couple of years ago. So it's always a bit spicy out there. But look, as Trent said, we had a disappointing loss against Brisbane the week before. And as a group, we had a really good um, week on the track. We wanted to bounce back. We knew that we had three really tough games coming coming up and we were on the road for two of them. So I was really proud with how the, the girls responded and, and how we played on the weekend. And I believe my information, there might have been a bit of banter between groups of uh, players during the week pre-match just to add a bit of spice, uh, a little bit of friendly, not sledging, but friendly jibes thrown back and forth. There could, there could have been. I wasn't involved in any of them as the leader I am. I, <laughs> s I stay clear, but... Look, um, no, look, it, there is a bit of banter that gets thrown around. It's all part of it and it's all, it's all fun. So we obviously had the last laugh on the weekend, um, which, was, which was quite nice. Now, we know we talked about Kiara Bowers. She does all the grunt work, but uh, there's a, a lady in attack who is nicknamed uh, the new buddy of the AFLW, Gemma Outen. Of course, five goals last weekend. She takes the game on. She's exciting to watch. Uh, we're starting to see the potential that she's promised for a little while. Yeah, she's had a really solid pre-season um, after, I suppose, a little bit um, of a disappointing season for herself last year, just with some form and fitness. So I'm really proud with how she's gone about um, her pre-season and, and during the season. Um, I suppose the good thing about our group is um, it's not left to one individual to kick all the goals. And, and as we saw on the weekend, there was a number of girls that, that kicked multiple. And, and Gemma was lucky enough to get on the end of a few that I gave her, which I've been reminding her all week of. So uh, she owes me a few, I think. She's at the top of the goal kicking with a number of other players. So hopefully we can get her there in the end. Last couple, uh, Trent, maybe you can summarise. You're in a better place. Forget what happened with COVID last year. As a team, do you think you're... You're better placed, your defence is so well structured, do you feel you're in a better place to, to go as far as this team is possible? Yeah, I think so for sure. The um, other teams are as well, but our defence has definitely improved. Uh, we've got the number one defence at the moment, and that's actually why our percentage is so high. And uh, all the girls, that, they've all only been on the list for three years, all less than 20 games, and Gary Kibbertson's done a great job with them, and they're now the, yeah, the cornerstone of our team, where it was... Not long ago, they're probably our weakest line. So that gives us great confidence going into a final series and some tough games coming up now. And uh, being a journalist always, we jump a few steps. Uh, the finals, wouldn't it be great to play some matches in WA? That's out of your hands to some degree. But certainly, whether it's at Optus or at Fremantle Oval, that would be an enormous boost, not only for the players, but 
the supporters who get there in such big numbers. Yeah, the Purple Army are amazing, whether it's at Freo Oval or at Optus. So, yeah, we're working hard. We want to finish top two to, to guarantee at least one home final. Uh, so that's definitely our aim because we love it when they, uh, they get around the girls. And we've played a few games without them with no crowds, but uh, de they definitely give us a lift when they are there. And Carlton this Sunday, 10-10. You can fly straight back. Is that right? Or do you have to wait till Monday? Uh, we'll be... Uh, sort of quarantining till midnight. So it'll be a, it'll be a uh, yeah, Quarantine, that's not too bad. It's, quarantining it's okay. till midnight, that's okay. I can do that in a hotel room if I have to. Um, listen, on behalf of everyone in this room, every Fremantle Docker supporter, uh, during the AFLW season, it's given a lot of joy already. We know that this team is flying the flag with great class and a lot of purpose, and we do wish you all the very best for the rest of the season. Please thank the captain and the coach of the AFLW team down there at Fremantle. Trent Cooper and Cara Antonio.